Greetings from Kiswap. Now, hopefully your Monday is not a manic one. It's pretty busy, which I'm enjoying. So what is on deck today? It is National Sleep in Public Day, which after this crazy busy Monday that I've had, I'm pretty sure I could, I'm due for a nap. But there's four different types of, types of naps. Who knew? Right. Or of course, we know about the power nap and the power nap lasts between 10 to 20 minutes real quick. Then there's a hangover nap. And that's it because you nap for 30 minutes, you wake up feeling kind of groggy, okay? There's the brainiac nap that's for 60 minutes. And again, you still might be a little bit grog groggy. And there's a California King nap, which is like 90 minutes or more. I'm good for power naps. If I'm asleep for 90 minutes, I'm in bed. I'm ready. I'm down. <laughs> so y'all tell me what type of nap helps you when you need a little rest. Also, guys, it's the Tooth Fairy Day, and we've been hearing about the Tooth Fairy since 1920, and it's for the kids. They usually get about three to four dollars a tooth. As an adult, we don't want to. We don't want nothing to do with the Tooth Fairy, right? <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> And then last but not least is National Rare Disease Day. And today just reminds us to donate money to those organizations that actually fund research to find cures for those rare diseases. And if you know someone who has a rare disease, take time to understand what is it that they're going through and maybe how you can help them. So with that being said, where's the best place to have the Tooth Fairy come to visit your kids, not you, and take a nap is going to be in your own home. So do not forget to kisswealthnow.com. Bye.